Well, what I'd like to know is, where is the evidence on the Russian hacking? That's first of all. You've been at it for six months now, and it seems like you really haven't come up with shit. Second of all, they're saying Trump, at his rallies, was inciting people in violence. And a judge wants to allow these people to sue a sitting president. You're going to set a precedent now anybody can sue the fucking president? Are you kidding me? If it was anybody else, this would not be happening. And then it's like, more as more and more stuff comes out, it seems so obvious that it was Trump under surveillance, and they happened to capture foreign dignitaries. I don't think any foreign dignitaries were under investigation. I think it was Trump. I think it was Trump that was being spied on. I think he's completely right when it comes to Obama overstepping his reach like the piece of fucking shit that he is. Okay? Someone who makes all these promises about uplifting his people when he becomes the president, has eight years to do it, and doesn't do a fucking thing about any of them. They're worse than they were before. Their schooling is, schooling is worse than they were before. The lockup rate stayed the same, if not went up. I mean, and of course, it's like, the only channel I watch is Fox. It's like, because I can't watch MSNBC. I can't watch CNN. It's so one-sided. It's so obvious. And it's like, you know, you liberals, you're tearing the country up. You're, you're making this country a laughing stock, a joke. I mean, they, I mean, hopefully with Trump there won't be no rainbow colors at the White House. I'd like to thank you people, the LGBT community, for ruining rainbows. I can't even look at them now. They're disgusting. Every time I look at a rainbow, well, you know what I, I think about this. It don't take a fucking genius to figure that one out. But, I mean, give me a break. Are you people that stupid? And it's like, you're all for it. Yeah, let the Democrats rip up the Constitution. And then there's surveillance. All this stuff that has been going on with surveillance. These people are making Edward Snowden look like a freaking genius. Not a genius, but a martyr. A martyr. Here's a guy who can't come into the country. Felt so guilty about the people he was spying on using the littlest thing. Like this Egyptian guy, this Egyptian far farmer national whose boyfriend picked up a drunk driving, and the guy, and the, the, guy, the, the girl ended up killing herself over it. He picked up some charges, and it got out, and they were using that against him. If you ever get a chance, watch the movie Snowden. You'll really be disgusted. And more and more, it's becoming evident that 9-11 was a way, was a means. There was an end to a means to get the government to be able to spy on us much easier than it had before. And do you think the internet, do you really think that was like a gift from the heavens? That was a way to keep an eye on people. They know everything you post. They know everything you're talking about. They know who you're talking to. Go, send your friend an email saying you're going to put a bomb somewhere. Watch how fast, fast your house gets raided. You don't believe me. Do something like, watch how fast that happens. And you know something? The left is so stupid, it's like, you know, don't argue with them because there's no such thing as debate with them. You know, if you don't agree with them, they'll have to run and crawl and hide into their safe space. I mean, give me a break, man. When I was a kid, I saw so much for this country. I woke up at the age of 48 and said, what the fuck happened to this country? Seriously, what happened? And, you know, some people underestimate Ronald Reagan, okay? Ronald Reagan was such a good president that the things he did during office lasted throughout the entire Clinton administration. And it actually made Clinton look like a good president. Clinton was a joke. He started that NAFTA and the Free Trade Organization. And that other shit. Um, whatever it was. You know, the ones where basically we get screwed and everybody else makes out. And then Trump, I love Trump's idea with, and I'm poor, okay? But I love Trump's idea with, Lowering the corporate tax. Maybe that'll bring all these companies that left the China back to this country. All right? Now, you can agree. You can not agree. 
I don't give a fuck. We gave you an inch with gay marriage. You took a mile. I'm a heterosexual. Can I get a parade? Can I get a parade once a year? I'm a heterosexual. I believe in, in, in Christian values. Can I get a parade? Uh, can we have a, a national con? I'm a convict too. Can we have national convict day with a fucking parade and maybe a fucking rainbow? Can I get a fucking rainbow? Can I get a what what? I mean, give me a break, man. This country is turned into the laughing stock of America. Everybody is on medication. Okay? You cannot even tell somebody they need to lose a few pounds because then you're fat, your body's shaming. There's nothing wrong with that. And bullying. Anytime I got bullied in school, all it made me do was want to beat the shit out of the dude. So I would train or whatever, learn whatever I could learn, and I go back, go at that motherfucker until I beat him. And finally I would beat them. There's nothing wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong with bullying. It builds character. And the bully, the guy who's being bullied. I know I won't take shit from anybody. I don't give a fuck how tall you are, how big you are. Big you are, the harder they fall. I know from I know from experience. You mother you big dudes, you fall hard. You can't discipline your kids. And it, another thing, it's like I gotta worry about if I have a daughter, I gotta worry about going to Target and her going into the bathroom. Because some guy that's confused, that needs a shrink, wants to pull his shit out. You, you people, not, if you have a penis, you are a guy. If you have a vagina, you are a girl. There's man and there's woman. Adam and Eve. I mean, God made it so simple. He gave us the Ten Commandments. And the seven deadly sins. Basically, if you're doing one of the seven deadly sins, odds are you're going to break one of the commandments. And people, people like, did nobody pay attention to this? I mean, what happened? And millennials, I got news for you. You are the gayest generation that has ever come out. Why? Because you probably wasn't disciplined. Mommy and Daddy told you you were great and everything was right and you can be whatever you want and you can you can say whatever gender fits you for the day. Ah, oh, today I'm a binary homosexual. Uh, tomorrow I'll be a um I'll be a heterosexual. Maybe next week I'll be a non-binary homosexual. Hmm. You know something? Hey, I was born with a with a penis. I know damn well I am a man. I've had my heart broken by many women. Did it ever make me want to slip a Johnson in my mouth? No! I never even thought of it. It's like, they, you know, people don't get their way. And it's, <laughs> like they did on the night Clinton rented this big hall. <laughs> All the people were crying. Mr. <laughs> Hillary didn't get elected. I'm so upset. I'm <laughs> with my safe space. I need my safe space. I don't know what to do. Oh my God, the country's all gone. Thank God Trump became president. If Clinton became president, the Clinton Foundation would have the opportunity to ruin another country like Haiti. Nepotism with the Clintons. We did. Um, what's her name? The ugly chick, Chelsea. She gets a job at NBC, working for six hundred thousand dollars a year as a news analyst. Give me a break. Are you kidding me? What does she know about that? And and Chelsea, I don't care how much money you got. Still can't get rid of that ugly mug. You are one ugly mother. Beep. And um. Yeah, you know, I guess that's all I have to say. I'm sure there'll be more. I'll think, uh, you know, I cannot think of it now, but I'm sure once I shut this off, I'm going to say, oh, shit, I forgot that. But anyways, all I got to say is go Trump. And all you Democrats, get ready. Because when the midterms comes up, you guys are done. I have a feeling you guys are done. And you know something? God bless America. Over and out. Come in Tokyo.